Hi there, Matt. It's Matt. So, just following up from your foreman's question about preparing for putting Ultimo in. Now, there is one little task which you need to do. Now, just to stress, this is only if you've not already been in installed Ultimo. If you have already installed the Ultimo theme, then this is slightly different. And let me know in the forum post on the, the understandingy.com uh, forward slash forums website. So, if you haven't installed Ultimo, it's really straightforward. If you have installed Ultimo, there's the extra steps which you need to take. So, this tutorial is really just an ad hoc one to on the assumption that you haven't already installed Ultimo. So, up here at the top, if you click on System and then go down to Manage Stores. Now, what you'll have is, or hopefully have, something very similar to this. You have Marketplaces, English, and then one store view on the right hand side. Now, if, if that's what you've got, that's happy days, follow us along. If you've got something different, that means you've either got an additional website in here or multiple store views, okay? Now, if you then click on the Create Store View button in the top right hand corner, if you leave it on the Store of English, the name, you wanna call it My Website, like so, and then the code, if you also call it my website, like so, all lowercase, okay, mark it as being enabled, and then you'll probably need to give it a sort order, so I'm gonna put number two in here. So just to recap, store, we've got is English, name is my website, so that's whatever your website is actually gonna be called. Then you've got a code, and that's the internal code for Magento, so call that my underscore website. Leave this, or change the status to enable, enabled, and then change the sort order to number two, and then click on save store view in the top right hand corner. Now there's two other steps which you need to make. So the first one is that if you click on your website view or store name in the middle, so ours is called English, and what you'll need to do in here is change the default store view to my website. So that's that new store view which you made a few moments ago. And this now, what this basically means is that we're now telling Magento that we should be using your website instead of your eBay account or eBay accounts instead. And then click on Save Store at the top. Now you will have been and received some messaging at the top about the index management being out of date. If you click on that link at the top, then click Select All on the left hand side like so, and then click Submit on the right. Now that will take a few moments to do and we don't have very many products so that's going to go through really really quickly. Now because you've created more than one store view in Magento when you go to say sales and then orders is that you will start seeing some extra boxes and uh, extra filters within your system. In fact let me go to manage products up here at the top. Uh, you'll notice that you'll get this extra drop box down here. So we've got all store views and then we've got also you, which is our eBay account and my website. So look out for that. And also when you go into a product as well, is that you'll also get this extra drop down box in the top right hand corner. Now, what we would suggest is that wherever possible, you stay at the top for the default values. Uh, one of the nice things about Magento is that it's got this hierarchy to it so that you can have different values on say your eBay account to your website. And again, Magento would use this normally for different store views with for, for different websites. In our case, we use Magento for a website and for the marketplaces as well. So don't panic if you see some extra boxes appearing, that's quite normal and that only happens when you add in a new store view. So Matt, I hope that's been and helped. I'll catch you soon. Cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.